Hey guys, it's Ellie. Welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I will be showing you guys how I, a visually impaired person, navigate the world of theater and scripts. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so I'm just gonna open up the iPad here and go on to the app Notability. So real quick before I show you guys anything here. So let me go ahead and show off the iPad. This is an iPad Pro with a stylus, so it does really help with annotating my lines and highlighting them, as well as writing down the emotions and blocking that I need to do that's been added in or if I need to take away certain blocking in the script. So my current production that I'm a part of is Disruptions, so it is is the everyday activities where something changes everything forever. So let's go ahead and I want to show off how I do certain things. Our titles are just like little um, like scenes put together for this production, which is really cool. So we have 12 titles in here and I've just bookmarked, bookmarked. <laughs> each and every one of them to kind of just get around and navigate a little bit better. So let me go ahead and go off to my first production scene I'm in. So it's called Business as Usual and I will be playing the bartender. So we'll go ahead and scroll down so you guys can kind of see my um, fellow characters. We have me, the bartender. I'm a woman in my 20s. We have someone named Doreen. They're in their 30s. And we have an old man named Marty in his 50s. Our time and place, we're in a swanky lounge bar at night during the crisis. Let's go ahead and scroll down a bit. Let me do my little actor's key here. So when I first got my scene, I went and highlighted every single line of mine in yellow because that contrast between the white and the yellow just helps me see my lines better. So I don't miss a single one during rehearsals. And I do all of my blocking in blue just because I thought the blue was a pretty color. It, the colors don't really mean anything, but I decided that I'd do my emotions in red. And as we can see here, I don't have any emotions written down. So I know at the beginning I'm rubbing a glass, you know, rubbing a glass, looking at it, a smudge is still there. So I rub it again. The smudge is still there. So I rub it again and it's still there. But bam, the door opens and someone is here. So I have to quickly get rid of my frustrations and say, welcome, well it be. And you know, they, they say, Haru Hofen. Of course, they're wearing a mask. So I say, come again. Kind of like calmish, confused. And they say, are you open? And I'm like, yeah, of course we are. All right, so now that you guys see my lines and my blocking and kind of how I do that, how do I do that while we're on the stage? Let's go ahead and figure that out, all right? Now that we're in a little different environment here, let me go ahead and show you how I do things. All right, so first of all, this orientation isn't really going to work for me. So we're gonna go ahead and move her horizontally. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and zoom in and we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how much I zoom in in my scenes. All right, so this is about where I usually am and depending on the light and we're outside for our production, so the lighting is terrible outside, so it's a little harder to see. It's why I zoom in quite a lot during my lines. Let's go ahead and start up with that first line, okay? Welcome, Wallaby. Heart who hopped in. Come again. Are you open? Of course we are. Just like that, if I need to, I scroll down to my lines. And if I need to make a quick little annotation, let's go ahead and say, Ellie is cool. So to me, heart. Wow, great job, Ellie. Let's go take a serious chat now. All right, guys, so serious talk. Theater is not accessible as it should be. To get an enlarged script, usually, that's really sad, people just put, let me show you, they just put the normal size script that we have here onto size 11 by 17 paper. You know, the really long paper. And to me, it doesn't really look like this was enlarged. Slightly, maybe it's size 14 font compared to the size 12 font. But for most of us who are visually impaired, we need to see a lot larger than that. We need size 18 font, size 24 font. So it's kind of hard for us to read our script and follow along with that. So that's why I have my iPad for my scripts. And most of the time you can get a digital copy copy of your script provided to you 
so you can do that. But what about the people who don't have digital copies? Well, you know, you could be mean and make your director handwrite it all for you because um, why is it your responsibility to strain your eyes and handwrite the whole script because the, um, the director couldn't get an accessible copy for you? It's not that hard, just kind of putting that out there. But let's not even mention people who need braille copies. You need to get a braille transcriber for that and that takes a long time for someone to type something out in braille and so we need to make theater a more accessible place for everyone to be a part of productions we need disabled actors to play disabled characters because why should we have an able-bodied person play a disabled person that's not theater that's not being a character you're helping in spreading harmful stereotypes of blind people, deaf people, people with mobility issues, and people who have diseases, really honestly any disability out there. We're right here, we're raising our hands, we're saying please let me be a part of your show, let me be a part of this, I'm disabled, let me play the disabled character. And they say no. We like that um actor, uh, who is it, uh, Brad Pitt? Yeah, we want him to play instead. I like that, I don't like that, and I know you guys don't like that. We want more representation in the media by people who are actually disabled. Let's make stage theater inclusive too. And with my productions, some directors I've had have denied me using my cane and others are like, yeah, use your cane. Show that we have blind students here. And not only that, we have blind actors at our school. So make sure you make your voice aware and let's make this a more inclusive environment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a little bit about how I do theater as a visually impaired person. And I hope you guys maybe learned something as a sighted person on how you can make things a little bit more accessible for those with visual impairments in theater because scripts are so busy with text. So it does get a little hard and a lot of scripts do not come in large print, sadly, so you have to get those specially made, but luckily I get to use this app, which is incredible, 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 to help me annotate and see my prints, my prints, <laughs> my scripts in a larger font. Even though technically it's not in a large font, I'm able to zoom in as much as I want, so it's close enough for me. But for others, it's not. Let's fight and make things more accessible. Right, I'm supposed to say like, subscribe, and not just end it. Okay, let's make things more accessible. All right, well, uh, like the video if you liked it, if you like theater. Um, Chong's didn't make it an appearance this time. Did you guys miss her? I miss her. Uh, comment down below about how cool I am. Maybe your favorite theater production you've been a part of or favorite overall, your favorite movie maybe. Um, and some tips if you guys have any that I don't know of. So yeah, have a great day guys. I made a TikTok account if you guys want to follow me on that. Um, as of recording this, I haven't posted anything, but I will. Um, so if you want to follow me on TikTok, do that. Follow me on Instagram. Follow Zach for editing requests and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.